My name is Sister Susan Louise Eater. I'm an Oblate Sister of St. Francis de Sales. We're at Holy Cross Academy and I'm the principal of Holy Cross. Our community was founded by Blessed Father Louis Brisson, who was beatified just three years ago, and Saint Leone Aviat, who was canonized in 2001. We were originally founded to help out with the young women coming to the city from the countryside during the Industrial Revolution, but very quickly our community went into education, and so today we serve in education and a lot of different social ministries. The charism of our community is based on the spirituality of St. Francis de Sales, which is a spirituality of consecrating every moment to God, doing everything that we do in God's loving embrace, but in a spirit of gentleness and a spirit of kindness and loving care for all of those around us, but also helping others to realize how much God loves them. The Oblate Sisters, they carry with them a kind of a charism that I find fascinating. We have one of the most loving schools I've ever seen. The first day I came to school I knew something was different because I came to the first day of school and Sister Susan Louise was there in the front and you know I was thinking these kids they're not going to want to come back to school. They all came running in and hugged her on the first day of school and it was um, something I'd never really seen before. I mean and I've been in Catholic schools too uh, in other parishes. On our recent trip to Africa, when we visited some of the mission schools that the Oblate Sisters staff, what I found most remarkable was that the charism came through because everywhere we went, it felt just like Holy Cross Academy. It's the spirit of Jesus, and that's what the sisters are all about. Live Jesus, right? That's their motto. Our school has the mission of providing a Catholic education for the children of St. Mary Parish and all of the children in the surrounding area, so everyone in our community. And our primary goal is to provide them with a, uh, a wonderful grounding in our Catholic faith so that they come alive in the faith, that they come to know God and love God and form a personal relationship with Him. And we also work to provide them with a superior academic education so that they go forth and are very successful at the next level and beyond. We're the only parish in the United States where the sisters serve, but they have Mount Aviat Academy in Northern Maryland, and they serve here at St. Mary the Immaculate Conception. We made a commitment that one of the things that I'm to do is to really promote vocations for the Oblate Sisters, because I think they work so hard that they don't spend a lot of time on self-promotion, so we have to promote for them. We work very closely with St. Mary Parish, and our parish theme is based on our Holy Father's encyclical on mercy. So one of the things we'll be doing this year is helping our students to understand that, as well as his recent encyclical on the environment. So we want to help our students to understand both of those very important concepts this year. We've obviously always worked with the students to help them to care for the environment, but we're going to pull out some of the things that our Holy Father said and help them to realize at different levels what they can do. A kindergartner can begin to understand how taking care of their own classroom and their own things contributes to taking care of our environment. And then as the students get older in seventh and eighth grade to help them to realize that they have an impact by their words and actions. They can make a difference in the broader society and in our broader culture. And it's the same with mercy. We firmly believe in service works. We do a lot of service works here at Holy Cross and always have and so we'll continue to work with those but to show the students how the things that we do like our recent work for our mission in Africa how that is showing God's love and mercy to all of his children. But we also want them to realize it in their daily lives with one another that it's not just mercy for people who are far away <laughs> but also mercy for people who are right in the chair beside me. <laughs>